So hi everyone, Craig Hansen guys, I've got a very interesting one for you here. Early extension, the thrusting of the hips into the golf ball. We've got hundreds and thousands of people around the world desperately trying to get rid of this move. And yet we're seeing so many of the world's best ball strikers doing it. What's going on? Is it the most overrated area in the golf swing? Well, we're going to get in there and have a look. And is it something that you actually need? That's the next question. I've seen people work on this and absolutely ruin their path and uh, pull the ball and cut it a mile. So uh, very, very important to get your hands on the right information and uh, hopefully you're not putting the cart in front of the horse. So let's have a look and see why is Oosthuizen, who some say, you know, one of the nicest hitters, nicest swings in the world, moving that far forward. Stuart Sink, now this guy has been leading greens in the top few for the last 20 years, and he's still doing it. I think he's still in the top 10 greens in regulation on tour, and recently one last year, what is he, 47, 48, and look at the amount of movement into the golf ball there. Now guys, what actually happens? You know, when we're seeing the movement of the head moving in this direction, and we're seeing the hips move in this direction, what, what's the positive? Well, what it actually can do is it can actually shallow the shaft, right? So it can help us hit it more from the inside, which I'll back that up a little bit later on with a bit of evidence-based material. What we're seeing, see Sink's head moving back. It's quite a steep entry into the golf ball here. Now, the club's coming through the top part of the, you know, of the, of the shoulder. And as he comes down, you see the head being pulled back. Just have a look at that head pulled back from the line, hips thrusting forwards. And he brings it down. He's getting there, he's getting there, and bang, he's in the slot. Now, if you've seen the stuff on World Class Golf Instruction, or if you've seen a lot of my videos here, this is, this is what we're talking about, right? If you get this position, you're going to be pretty happy with yourselves. But club golfers are miles away from it, but you can work on it. You can film it with your mobile phones. You can get the V1 app. It's free. Get on the App Store. Get the app. Get on the World Class Golf Instruction. And we teach you the core rules and parameters. Plenty of stuff there for advanced players and also for intermediate golfers, club golfers, the whole bit, right? You get in there and become your own coach and understand the acceptable parameters. And look at these guys bringing that club in behind the hands. So guys, what that can do, that movement of moving back and moving forwards can actually help you shallow the plane. So if you're getting on a track man, right? If you've set up a track man, if you've got your flight scope and you're getting in there and you keep that left hip, really keep it back, and you keep the weight back onto the left heel and you deepen that hip, it's going to steepen the path. Right? The path's going to move more left. And is that what you want? So a lot of people are really ruining their swings, making sure you know, you're not wasting your time. We don't have all that much of it. We want to be able to work on the right things. Let's have a look at a couple of the other players out there. When we see Tommy Fleetwood, what a golf, what a golfer this guy is. What an iron player. I'll just pop a line here on his behind here. And I'll just get rid of those lines there. Hang on a second. And we'll just see. Try and get us as close as I can here without either one side or the other. There we go. So you see a lot of the players moving their heads really forwards, you know, moving the weight into the toes. Now that is going to be when your heels are lifting up like that and you're using, you know, force plates or track, you're going to see that left side really extend. You're going to see the weight into the front part of the foot. Now, it's an interesting one. You can, if you stand up and swing through the ball and lift up your heel, right? If you're sitting on the couch or something, you stand up and you lift up your heel through the ball. Feel where your left shoulder goes. Feel where your left side is. And then swing through the ball and lift your toes up off the ground. You tell me which one feels better, right? You tell me which one you think you can hit it better with, especially when you're moving into the longer clubs, you know? And we're getting through the golf ball here when we're looking at shoulder planes you know, we're getting around into the 50 degree area. When we get on the other side, when the arms are parallel to the ground, we're getting almost getting the lead toe as far as we can away from the lead shoulder. We're getting extension. Now have a look here at these positions. It's remarkable how often they're in the same positions. And that, have a look there at Tommy Fleetwood through the golf ball. Now, when we have a look here at uh, another great ball striker, we'll get on here and have a look at uh, Tyrell Hatton. I mean, this guy is just flushing it. Imagine getting out there and saying, oh, you shouldn't do that, Tyrell. Make sure you don't early extend. Make sure you don't move your hips towards the golf ball. Heel's going to be up in the air through the ball and moving a long way forward. Isn't that heel way up in the air? And that shoulder plane, once again, we're seeing it at 50 time and time again, getting that extension, getting that left hip high 
will also get the handle to lift up and get some snap down the bottom of your golf swing. It's not just that area. I mean, we've seen players like Jason Day, who, you know, X number one and, and one of the world's really great ball strikers. I followed this guy around, uh, had a chat with him for about 27 holes a few years ago, and really hadn't seen hitting like it. Look at that hip move forward. So, guys, all I'm suggesting is that making sure, 50 degrees, that you're getting your hands on the right information. World Class Golf Instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer. Practice programs and evidence-based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. Join us in the chat room and join the community of World Class Golf Instruction. All right, so you know, if it's not a bad thing to have some movement, especially in the end of the longer clubs here. When we look at, you know, the, the traces on the feet, all right, and we're seeing sort of a pattern of weight moving sort of in this direction and back, you know, where that's sort of the front part of the foot here, you know, because it's 70% of the weight in the front part of the foot. This is Ryan Palmer just flushing another shot. We can see that when he's coming down, there's a large portion, 98% of the weight into the front part of the lead foot. And when he gets into impact, look at that, 98%. So a lot of a lot of players really keeping this part of the foot pressure on that heel up, extends the left side up. When the arms get around this side, you know, we start getting close to these 50 degree numbers and we're copying, you know, we're doing the great things. They're doing the things that great players do where we're trying to get this club to come in, you know, underneath and behind the hands. So we have a great chance mimicking what the great players do. Uh, it's just really important to understand you know, the movements of the swing are not just, you know, getting told by perhaps some super coach that your hips are moving towards the ball. I wonder how many people have been more hurt by technique rather than improved by it. You know, I, I dare say that so many people have been ruined and haven't reached their potential just by working on absolute, you know, garbage. Sorry to say, but it is true. Guys, yeah, great players, you know, often moving in this direction with their legs and now, even when we're looking at McElroy here, when we're seeing, you know, through the golf ball, if you're trying to hit a draw, you know, in fact, if you're trying to hit it from the inside and you're trying to hit a draw with your driver, you're going to have to just about have some movement in that direction. Right? So making sure that don't look at it as the worst thing in the golf swing. OK, look at the, the major positions and, and really get on to some better information. Guys, if you're after some online lessons, check out craighansongolf.com. Send me something through. Uh, your lessons are in, in the same format, side by side. Uh, my voice is over the top, giving you drills and exercises, getting on the right path to play better golf. And if you're really after a platform, just for the entire game, your short game advanced, pitching series advanced, players um, getting there and understanding the nuts and bolts and the inner workings of the golf swing, even there's an area for beginners on the platform. Guys, get in there and have a look at worldclassgolf.com. Thanks for watching. Uh, making sure that you're getting your hands on the best information so that you guys can play the best golf possible.